Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to talk about the GeoGPT, which is a new AI open source software which can help us to create the maps, complicated maps or professional maps without installing the GIS or QGIS or ArcGIS desktop. So let's start. By opening this uh, web link, as I will add it into the text and description part into the, our video, you can start and you can go to the GeoGPT. And by getting get started, by clicking, you will be you know conducted to do it to your application. You can just uh, if you have the user, it's, it's great. And if you don't have, you can just register by your email address. So. In this GeoGPT uh, AI application, you have the possibility similar to the uh, ChatGPT to ask some question, doing some academic research, especially for the geo data. But I don't want to jump into it because there is uh, some or a lot of video regarding how to use the ChatGPT. I would like to create or uh, some maps with this map generator as you see here, which is a completely new and which is really interesting. So it means let's uh, you can create some maps and doing some analysis or some GIS uh, functions inside the AI without having the GIS software. By clicking map generator, you see here, click upload file to upload geological data. Supported format is also written shape file. And if you are, uh, importing the shape file don't forget to you know all those files kml file geojson file and tiff so upload the file if i just uploading the file here i already created uh, two shape file which is one parcel and one building and uh, according to the requirement i must take all those uh, files which is a really simple shape file and by uploading you know map generating as you see here uh, the map will be created into your AI application. So let's see uh, how will be the result uh, by uploading the files. In, it's it's up to your file. Uh, if it's uh, large data, it takes more time. But you know, it's it's done. You know, rendering the map for you, uh, layer loading completed, element loading completed, and map re rendering is loading here. So it's done. As you see, the map uh, has been created with the legend here, building parcel. As you see, building the parcel in the map with this uh, with the specific coordinate system, which is the match to the to your uh, base map, and here we have the possibility to zoom in and here some kind of you know operation and if i just click here you know uh, we have the attribute table of uh, building layer here you see we have the oid function some some other um, uh, column name and if i just come here you know this is the parcel so and even we have the possibility you know set the background base map you know, changing that or set the map title to the map generated by map generator or even changing the font or uh, font size or even the uh, text, uh, text, for example, here from the legend to the map legend, for example. And if I just do one of those, you know, here generating and the result will be appear soon. And here, if I just continue, here it must change the result from legend to the map legend here as you see the map legend and as you see the map legend is coming and uh, font size to the 30 you know it's it getting bigger so let's start with some kind of you know difficult question uh, from the map generator ai uh, in geo gpt so let's start with the first question is it possible to add the label from the attribute table to the map? I want to add the floors and our label from the parcel layer onto the map. So if I just ask this question, because if there is a column which, is, which has the parcel number, and I would like to have this, um, this number in, as a label into our map. This is exactly really common. Uh, GIS function in the GIS desktop. So it means by uh, running this modify layer labor visibility executing, we must see the layer. Yes, as you see here, the parcel number are coming into the map, which is really great. 
so let's start so it means we can also do it for the building number uh, building number house number or some other information this is a, a similar you know function so let's go to the second question as you see i prepared already those questions to save the time could you please give colors to the parcel layers according to the area size bigger parcel in red and a smaller parcel in blue and if i just run generating these are those uh, those requests or function we need to do it in the, the gis desktop but with this map generator in joe gpt we can have such a you know gis function without opening the qgis or arcgis or some some other gis desktop which is a very great uh, achievement from joe gpt you see here it's already added uh, here building and parcel it's according to the uh, it's according to the area the bigger area are blue and the smaller are red so let's have another uh, question uh, regarding to the legend for example if I just ask this one move the legend to the left and smaller so we would like to have this map legend here to the left part and making a little smaller just just to check how is the result from this AI and if I just continue the function will be running and yes let's see this alignment executing so it means the result yes as you see the map legend coming to the left side and the result is smaller let's go to the uh, another question uh, from this Joe GPT yes let me just uh, categorize the building layer according to the function clone uh, column in the attribute table assign different colors for each category so let's see because uh, as you see here in the um, uh, in the attribute table in the building layer there is a function column uh, which has the you know different function like a, a build a parking or residential building this is in German one house and we would like to have the categorizing according to this one and you know assigning the you know different color for each category and let's see what is the result but you know the, the colors even uh, later on you know let's see what kind of color can be considered and it, it can be also uh, added into our legend and it takes some seconds you know to the the request will be run with our uh, ai application yes as you see is, is already added and you know we have the uh, for example residential building in the yellow one and the parking is in the red one as you see the different color here and here which is a great one and this is exactly the categorizing function in the gis or qgis desktop so and let's do maybe the last question from this ai and if i just ask this question can you add a text in the map which is written i, I love joe gpt and let's see how is the result and it can be also added into our map you know we can also consider the new text or generated text according to our project and if i just continue the result modify annotation context content executing this is exactly the function that this ai model is using as you see here it will be updated i love joe gpt as i ask and so it means our uh, map is ready somehow and we would like to uh, save the result and if i just save we have the different possibility like a uh, jpeg format png pdf format and even the, this project as a zip file and if i just uh, save it in the pdf format and we can check also the result so map saving and from my point of view it is uh, the the speed is very good to save uh, and you see the result is here and if i just zoom in you see i love joe gpt as it takes and here map legend as you could see here parking red and a uh, one house which is a residential building and here the these uh, parcel according to the area for example this is the biggest one uh, dark blue and this is the smallest one it's uh, dark red and here we have the base map and some other information that we ask 
uh, we ask our uh, AI model so I hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any question please write it down in the comment section this application will be developed every day and it will be in future very great and uh, somehow the full application AI application uh, in GIS thank you very much and bye